morning students welcome to the green valley in digital classes in the last lecture we were discussing about the reproduction in the flowering plant and in that we discussed about the androecium that is about the stamens and in this stamen what we discussed we discussed that the stamen does have three parts one is called as the anther second called as the connective which joins this connective is the region which joins the anther with that of the filament and today our topic is that is ts of anther ts of anther now what is this anther anther jo hai it is the structure where there are going to be the formation of microspores that is pollen grains now jo ye anther hota hai we said that about this anther we can have a monolobed anther we can have the bilobed anther but the most common is that is the bilobed anther bilobed anther bilobed anther and in this bilobed anther we are going to have how many these sporangiates microsporangiate that is four sporangiates that's why it is called as the tetra sporangiate tetra sporangiate now we'll take the transverse section of this tetra sporangiate structure that is the bilobed anther now this is the bilobed anther this is the one lobe this is the second lobe and in each lobe what are we going to have in each lobe what are we going to have we are going to have the two microsporangiates that means these sporangiate structure one and two and in the bilobed anther what we are going to have one two three and four now the anther is made up of the different layer of the cells it's made up of different layer of cells different layer of cells now why it is made up of different layer of the cells reason is being that in the anther we are going to get the formation of what male gametophyte that is the microspore or the pollen grain for that to protect this microspore or this pollen grain what we are going to have we are going to have the different layers of this so that they would get nourished and protected the first there are the different layer of the cells number first which is the first layer first layer is the epidermis it is the epidermis second layer of the cells is the endothelium endothelium the third layer of the cells that are to be there that are called as the middle layer cells that vary from the number of these middle layer cells vary from 3 to 4 and lastly there are very important cells that are called as what that are called as the tapetum now we will take all these different layer of the cells <coughs> and in this <coughs> we are going to take the different layer of the cells where we are going to have the the, the transverse section of the anther and we will exactly say now how where this epidermis is present where this endothelium is present and where this middle layer of the cells is being present and lastly where is this tapetum being present the first layer of the cells which are being present in this anther are the epidermal cells these are the cells which do form the covering of this anther 
bad cells which do form the covering of the center are called as the epidermal cells. So, I am drawing here the epidermal cells. The layer of the cells which do form the covering of this anther that are the epidermal cells. I am drawing here the epidermis. So, what is the role of this epidermis? The role of the epidermis is to give the what? To give the protection. That means to form the covering. The epidermal cells are flat cells. So, we are here drawing the epidermal cells which are being flat. These are the epidermal cells which are flat. So, this is epidermis and the cells of this epidermis they are flat. So, epidermis is made up of flat cells. Now, this is the epidermis, first layer of the cells. Now, the second layer of the cells is endothelium. Important thing is that here the epidermis that is being the flat cells, they, they, they this epidermis is the single layer. That means it's single layer. So, we have a single layer flat cells that are of the epidermis. Number second, we are going to have the cells of the endothelium. Important thing is that endothelium cells are also being the single layer. Now, next to this is the endothelium cells. The cells of the endothelium are radially arranged. They are radially arranged. Closely packed, readily arranged cells. So, this is the endothelium. Important thing about this endothelium is that they are readily arranged, closely packed and they have the deposition of the canals. Because of this canals, deposition of the canals, they are tightly packed with each other. So, we are here drawing the endothelium. And endothelium being this, these cells, they are endothelium. Endothelium. And these endothelium, they are also single layer single layer of the cells. That means they are single layer. Now, important thing about in the epidermis, we found that the cells are flat. Here, the cells of the endothelium, they are radially arranged. They are radially arranged. Ek to hi radially arranged hai, dusra, they are closely packed. They are closely packed. Now, how they are closely packed? Because of the reason of the presence of the callus, sorry callus, they have the callus deposition, they have the callus deposition. Now, next to this is the cells of the middle layer. These cells of the middle layer, they vary from, they are generally the parenchymate cells. They are parenchymate cells, you know that the cells of the parenchyma, they have the intercellular spaces, they are not compactly or closely packed and about these, the cells of this parenchyma, there is the one characteristic feature that they can store some substances and they are the living cells. They are the living cells, permanent cells hai, and they are the living. The cells of this middle layers, they vary from 3 to 4. They vary in the number from 3 to 4. So, here these cells are the, these are the middle layer cells. They are the middle layer cells. So, what are these cells? These are the middle layer cells. They are the middle they are the middle 
layer cells they are middle layer cells and the number of these middle layer cells are 3 to 4 in number they are 3 to 4 in the number that means there can be a layer of 3 or 4 cells like this now in the anterior of in the inside of this the TS of the anther we found very important layer that is this tapetum this is very important layer now inside this we are going to have the tapetum layer but what this tapetum makes this surrounds the superogeneous mass of the cells from which we got the development of the male gametophyte that is the development of the polygon or the microspores so the tapetum do surround the superogeneous mass of the cells like this <clears throat> so there are the tapetal cells which do surround the sporogenous cells now other question is about the tapetum why are the tapetal cells present they are present inside the anther and do surround what they do surround the sporogenous cells So these are the tapet. This is the layer called as the tapetum. We'll find the role of it later on. So here this is the tapetum, and here we do have the cells of this middle layer. We are having this. Now, what is the role of this tapetum? Role of this tapetum. Firstly, we will say there are two types of the tapetum. There are two types of the tapetum. One is called as the glandular tapetum. Glandular tapetum. Second one is called as the amoboid tapetum. One is called as the glandular tapetum, second one is called as the amoebaic tapetum. Now, pehle bhi bola hai maine aapko, this is the structure of where there is going to be the development of the pollen grains. In my pollen grains or microspores produce hoongi. Ab in pollen grains or microspores ko nutrition chahiye development karne ke liye. And ye whole layer of the cells, that means this layer of the cells, tapetum, it's going to provide the nutrition, that is the food for the development of these microspores or the pollen grains. Ab kya hoga? Ab ye tapetum do type ka ho sakta hai. One is the glandular and amoebite. Ab glandular se kya mean karte hai and amoebite se kya mean karte hai. अगर टैपिटम का फंक्शन ये है टू प्रोवाइड न्यूट्रिशन सो रोल हम पहले लिखेंगे यहां पे पहला रोल दैट इट प्रोवाइड्स न्यूट्रिशन अगर ये न्यूट्रिशन प्रोवाइड करता है न्यूट्रिशन प्रोवाइड करता है तो ग्लैंडुलर क्या मीन करता है और एमोबाइड क्या मीन करता है ग्लैंडुलर टैपिटम वो टैपिटम है जो डेवलपमेंट ऑफ जब तक कंप्लीटली डेवलपमेंट हो जाए पोलन ग्रैन या माइक्रोस्पोर की जब तक ये कंप्लीटली डेवलप हो जाए अगर टैपिटम तब तक इसमें कंटिन्यूसली रहा मींस द टैपिटम रिमेन्स देयर टिल द कंप्लीट डेवलपमेंट ऑफ द पोलन ग्रैन और माइक्रोस्पोर एट दैट टाइम इट्स कॉल्ड एज अ ग्लैंडुलर नाउ अगर ये टैपिटल लेयर डिसॉल्व हुई सिजल 
during the development of the pollen gland or microspore मतलब ये कि ये capital cells तब तक नहीं रहती है complete जब तक ये pollen gland या microspore develop होता है so this remains there to be till the complete development of the pollen gland and this amoeboid tapetum does not remain there till the complete development of the pollen gland that means amoeboid tapetum wo tapetum hai that dissolves during the development of the microspore or the pollen gland while as glandular tapetum remains there it remains permanently there till the development of the pollen gland or microspore important thing hai jab ye anther डिवाइस होता है तो दिस इज दर एंडोथिशियम विच हेल्प विच एक्चुअली डिवाइस दैट मीन्स दैट मीन्स द डिवाइसमेंट ऑफ द एंथर टेक्स प्लेस बट दिस इज दर विच गेट्स डिवाइस और लिबरेटेड नाउ इन साइड ऑफ दिस देर इज द रीजन दैट इज द कनेक्ट दिस इज द कनेक्ट जिससे ये एंथर जो है अटैच होता है विद द फ्लैमेंट सो व्हाट इज दिस दिस इज द कनेक्टिव दिस इज द कनेक्टिव नो सो वी आर हैविंग ए वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट लेयर दैट इज द टैपेटम वी कैन हैव टू टाइप्स ऑफ द टैपेटम ग्लैंडुलर एंड एमोबॉइड नो द फर्स्ट रोल ऑफ दिस टैपेटम इज दैट इट प्रोवाइड्स न्यूट्रिशन सेकेंड it contains it contains dense cytoplasm the cells of the tapetum do have a dense cytoplasm and they are multi nuclear multi nuclear they contain a very dense cytoplasm these tapetal cells and inside here there are the multi nuclei that means the number of the nuclei is very much high second they do have the presence of they do have presence of yobish bodies they do have the presence of the yobish bodies very important about this so we say that they do have the presence of what Eubish bodies. Eubish bodies. Now, what is the role of these eubish bodies? They do secrete a substance called as the sporopollenin. ये secrete करते हैं a substance जिसको हम बोलते हैं sporopollenin. It is the one of the most resistive substance found on the earth. This sporopollenin. Now. This sporopollenin do form a layer. Do form the layer that is called as the axine of the pollen gland. Axine of pollen gland. Now, what is this axine? Ab yahan pe dekhenge. Now, these cells they do have a dense cytoplasm. They have the presence of the multi-nucleate structure. They do have the presence of the yobish bodies. They do have the प्रेजेंस ऑफ द यूबिश बॉडीज यहां पे जो एक यहां पे माइक्रोस्कोर एंजियट स्ट्रक्चर में होगा वो दूसरे में भी होगा रीजन बींग दैट इट डज हैव दैट्रास्कोर एंजियट स्ट्रक्चर दिस इज द थर्ड वन दिस इज द फोर्थ वन सो वी आर गोइंग टू हैव फोर माइक्रोस्कोर एंजियट्स दियर नाउ व्हाई वी कॉल इट देम एज द माइक्रोस्कोर एंजियट्स रीजन बींग पोलन ग्रेन इज द स्मॉलेस्ट टेनिस स्ट्रक्चर दैट्स व्हाई वी कॉल इट एज द माइक्रोस्कोर एंड दिस स्कोर एंजियट इज respectively called as the microsporangium now tapetal cells have this multi nucleate dense cytoplasm presence of the yobish bodies inside of this we will take it later on that there are the sporogenous mass of the cells like this that is called as the next topic would be development of the male gametophyte that is the pollen grains or microspores Inside of this, we are going to have what we are going to have the sporogenous mass of the cells. So these are sporogenous cells. Now, what are these sporogenous cells? They are going to produce. 
दे माइक्रोस्पोर्स जिनको हम पोलिनेग्रेन्स भी बोलते हैं अब देखो इन वाले कैपिटल सेल्स में जो विश्व बॉडीज है जो ही ये सिक्रीट करेंगे सुपोरो कॉलेन सुपोरो कॉलेन अब ये सुपोरो कॉलेन अंदर की तरफ जाएगा एंड दिस सुपोरो कॉलेन इट गेट्स अटैचेड टू द सुपोरोजीनियस मास ऑफ द सेल्स और द डेवलपिंग कॉलेन we are saying that this yobish bodies that are being present in the capital cells once they secrete these sporocollagens when this sporogenous cells it divides mitotically and it produces four cells that means four porangrens yahan se secretion aa jayegi yobish body se sporocollagen se and this forms the axon of the porangren like this if this is the porangren तो योविश बॉडी से जो स्पोरोन आ जाएगा वो यहां पे डिपॉजिट हो जाएगा एंड दिस फॉर्म द आउटर लेयर एंड दैट आउटर लेयर इज कॉल्ड एज द एक्साइन सो व्हाट इज दिस एक्साइन एक्साइन इज द आउटर लेयर ऑफ इट इज द आउटर लेयर ऑफ द पोलोनिग्रेन अबाउट दिस स्पोरोन ये सुपोरोन क्यों यहां पे योबिश बॉडी से सिक्रीट होता है नो वी से दैट दिस सुपोरोन इज द मोस्ट रेजिस्टिव सबस्टेंस रेजिस्टिव सबस्टेंस नो अबाउट दिस सुपोरोन इट्स गोइंग टू हेल्प इन द नंबर ऑफ द थिंग्स अबाउट दिस पोलन ग्रेड नो what is going to it provide it provides it protects the it protects the pollen grain it protects that means the sporo pollen sporo pollen is going to protect the pollen grain from ultraviolet rays or radiations it's going to protect this pollen grain from number this is the first again as the ultraviolet rays second we can see that it's going to help or protect the pollen grain from biological and chemical degradation so role of this pollen grain is to give the protection to this pollen grain Again, as the ultraviolet rays or the radiation or the biological or the chemical degradation. Now, so we are going to have how many layer of the cells of this they enter? There are four layer: epidermis, endothelium, middle layer, and the tapetum. Tapetum are present inside this anther, and these are going to provide the different these the, the roles. And the first role of this tapetum is that it provides the nutrition. It contains the cytoplasm, multi-nucleate. Hai, yobish body just in under hai that do secrete this for this for a pollen. And what it makes it the pollen kit. We call this as the pollen kit. Reason being that this for a pollen, the jo secretion aa jaati hai yobish body se, it do have the presence of. it do have the presence of the lipids carotenoids etc and that's why we call that as the pollen kit so if this is the pollen grain if this is the pollen grain if this is the pollen grain we are going to have the exactly during the development of this microspore exactly we'll say how this sporopollen makes the exit pehle aap yahan pe lay diagram dekho agar ye pollen grain aise hai iske bahar se aise देर इज दिन इन डिपोजिशन और ये इसकी जो है आउटर लेयर बनाएगा इट डज है प्रेजेंस ऑफ द लिपिड्स एंड कैरोटिनोइड्स एंड दैट्स वाई दिस इज कॉल्ड एज दोल एंड किट और इसीलिए जो है बायोटिक एजेंसी लाइक दैट ऑफ द इंसेक्ट बर्ड वो इसी फूड के लिए आ जाता है टू विजिट द फ्लावर बट क्या है इट्स द स्टिकी साउस है सो सुपोरोन डिस्पाइट having the presence of the lipids and the carotenoids this is very sticky substance ye yes, sporopollen so we say that the sporopollen is a sticky substance sticky substance or isliye it gets attached with that of the the called as the the pollinating agency biotic chahe insect ho bird ho anybody else that does have the life wo yahan pe visit karta hai flower ke liye yahan pe to have this food 
पोलैंड यहाँ पे किड जो है पोलैंड या पोल पोलैंड किड जिसको हम बोलते हैं नेक्टर एंड ऑल दिस वो इसके लिए आ जाता है और जब वो कोशिश करता है इसको खाने की इट गेट स्टिक इट गेट स्टिक whether as to any of the origin of this the bird or the insect jo ki yahan pe wo koshish kar raha hai khane ki thoda bahut kha sakta hai and it gets sticked with that up that's why uski jo hai bhook abhi tak nahi miti hai that's why he visits another flower jab wo visit karta hai another flower there is also this sticky substance that's the stigma of this the female nematophyte wo bhi sticky ye bhi sticky that's why they gets attached there isliye wahan pe pollen crystal interaction ho jata hai this was about the ts of the anther now we will take the development of this male nematophyte that is the pollen grains or microspores chaliye now we have this that is the development of the microspores that is called as microsporogenesis now what is this microsporogenesis it is the formation of microsporogenesis means formation of formation of microspores that is pollen grains pollen grains the process of formation of microspores or the pollen grains is called as microsporogenesis why we call it as the micro reason being that pollen grain the size of the pollen grain is very small it being the micro it being the smallest structure that's why it's called as the microsporogenesis that means process of formation of microspores now this microspore gets developed from the sporogenous mass of the cells if we have the sporogenous cells we are having this sporogenous cells we are having inside of this the tapetum inside of this the anther we are having these sporogenous cells and these sporogenous cells they are diploid they are what diploid for the designation of the diploid structure we represent it by the twin we represent it by the twin now from that sporogenous cell from which the pollen grain gets developed that is called as the microspore mother cell if this is the sporogenous cell from this there would arise there would get the development of the microspore that's why it is called as the microspore mother cell mmc we represent it by the mmc now what is this mmc mmc ka matlab hai microspore microspore mother cell means this is the cell from which the this microspore would get arisen and this is called as a microspore mother cell and this microspore mother cell is the diploid now when the microsporogenesis begins to this sporogenesis cell to this microspore mother cell there appears to be a meiotic division meiotic division that means meiosis would occur a one meiotic division एक मियोटिक डिवीजन होगा तो कितने सेल्स बनेंगे चार बनेंगे कैसे बनेंगे चार चलिए यहां पे हम देखेंगे अगर ये सुपोरोजिन और दिस दिस माइक्रोस्पोर मदर सेल है इट डिवाइड्स बाय दिस मियोटिक डिवीजन माय मियोसिस हो जाएगी मियोसिस 
तो मियोसिस हमने बोला था प्रीवियसली मियोसिस कैन बी मियोसिस फर्स्ट इट इज ऑफ द टू टाइप्स मियोसिस फर्स्ट एंड मियोसिस सेकंड इन द मियोसिस फर्स्ट व्हाट वुड बी हैपन हियर फ्रॉम दिस वन सेल देयर वुड गेट द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ द टू सेल्स अब ये कंप्लीट हुआ अब मियोसिस का दूसरा भी डिवीजन अभी पेंडिंग है अब ये हो जाएगा मियोसिस सेकंड तो इससे भी एक सेल बने दो सेल्स बनेंगे इससे भी दो सेल्स बनेंगे That means from one we got in one meiotic division four cells. अब meiosis से क्या होता है? अगर meiosis first जब होती है, meiosis जब होती है, that means meiosis first. इसमें chromosome number half हो जाता है. That means अगर ये हम बोलते हैं, this microspore mother cell is then diploid. तो इसका half हो जाएगा, ये भी haploid बनेगा, ये भी haploid बनेगा. जो ही ये दो सेल बनेंगे अभी एक और डिवीजन पेंडिंग है दैट इज मियोसिस सेकंड अब मियोसिस सेकंड में क्या होता है दिस रिजम इज द माइटोसिस ये क्वेश्चन आ जाता है द माइटो मियोसिस सेकंड मियोसिस सेकंड इट रिजम्बल्स विद दैट ऑफ द माइटोसिस तो माइटोसिस में क्या होता है इक्विली डिवाइड होता है जितना जो क्रोमोसोम नंबर एक सेल में होता है दूसरे में भी उतना आता है दैट्स व्हाई यहां पे हैप्लॉइड बना है अब ये सेल इसमें भी इक्वली आ जाएगा क्रोमोसोम ये भी हैप्लॉइड ये भी हैप्लॉइड ये भी हैप्लॉइड ये भी हैप्लॉइड दैट मींस इन कंप्लीट मियोसिस व्हाट वी गेट द रिजल्ट इज दैट द सेल व्हिच डस गो फॉर दिस मियोसिस इन व्हिच इफ देयर इज द डिप्लॉइड नंबर ऑफ द क्रोमोसोम द रिजल्ट इज दैट वंस वी गॉट द फोर सेल्स ऑल सेल्स वुड बी हैप्लॉइड all cells would be haploid now what would be the result of the cells here there would result in this would result in the formation of four haploid cells it would result in the formation of the four haploid cells that means there would get the formation of this tetrad tetrad important thing is that this tetrad cells these four cells they are compactly packed they are compactly packed now reason being that we do have the deposition of the calyx in them and because of the calyx what we are going to have we are going to have these cells that is what they are going to get attached with each other now there are four conditions of this tetrad that means a tetrad can be of the four types it's of the four types the tetrad is of the four types one is called as we are having the four combination of this tetrad one is called as the tetrahedral tetrad tetrahedral tetrad tetrad means four cells a combination of the four cells we are going to have the first combination that is tetrahedral tetrad second is isobilateral tetrad iso bilateral tetrad third one is that is called as the linear tetrad linear tetrad and fourth one is that is decussate or t shaped tetrad t shaped tetrad so these are the four combination of these tetrad मतलब ये कि जब माइक्रोस्पोर मदर सेल डिवाइड करती है दिस बाय मींस ऑफ द मियोटिक डिवीजन तो चार सेल्स बनते हैं अब ये टेट्रस जो है चार सेल्स इनकी कॉम्बिनेशन इस तरह से होती है द मोस्ट कॉमन टाइप ऑफ दिस टेट्रड इन दिस दैट मींस जो पोलन ग्रेड्स दैट मींस माइक्रोस्पोर में जो प्रेजेंट होता है टेट्रड दैट इज टेट्राहेड्रल द मोस्ट कॉमन चारों हो सकते हैं मोस्ट कॉमन इज टेट्राहेड्रल in case of the female gametophyte when that megaspore mother cell divides female gametophyte mein megaspore mother cell jab wo bhi divide karti hai meiotic division mein to unme bhi tetrad banta hai aur wo tetrad jo hota hai that is linear so male gametophyte mein tetrad tetrahedral ka hota hai aur inme jo hai female gametophyte mein most common linear hota hai so here we are having the most common as a tetrahedral डिजिग्नेशन देते हैं कैसे टेट्राहेड्रल और आइसोबाइलेट्रल लीनियर टेट्रल बनेगा व्हेन दिस सेल डिवाइड्स इट प्रोवाइड्स इट प्रोड्यूस द फोर सेल्स वन कॉम्बिनेशन वुड बी लाइक दिस वन इट प्रोड्यूसेस द वन 
टू एंड थ्री लाइक दिस एक इसके पीछे दिस इज वन दिस इज सेकेंड दिस थर्ड एक इसके पीछे दिस इज द नंबर फर्स्ट दैट मीन टेट्रा हाइड्रोल डेट्रोल दैट मीन वे आर गोइंग टू हैव द फोर सेल्स एक यहां से दूसरा यहां से थर्ड दिस वन फोर्थ वन इनके पीछे This is not the 3D dimension. Otherwise, I would have the representation of the fourth one, which is the, the uh, above these cells. Now, second tetrad that is isobilateral tetrad. This is the isobilateral tetrad. Har ek tetrad mein four cells banenge. This is the isobilateral tetrad. So this is the second one. Isobil. This is the first one. This is the second one. Ab third hai linear tetrad. This is going to be a linear tetrad. You will find it during the development of the female gametophyte. When megaspore mother cell divide, करते हैं तो ऐसे tetrad बनाती हैं चार cells का. ठीक है. मगर इतना याद रखना all the cells which gets formed here are what they are all haploid. This is the third one. And next is that is the tetrasse type. That is decussate or T-shaped tetrad. No, this is the decussate or T-shaped. This is the fourth one. That means we are going to have this fourth one. So in a way, four kinds of tetrads can be made. Tetrahedral, isobilateral, linear, and this one decussate or T-shaped. In your books, you would find that there is the decussate one type and T-shaped another type. This is very important thing here that decussate is also called as a T-shaped. This is not the two separate things. We are having this one as well as this. They are the common things like that of this. So most common ये वाला यहाँ पे जो tetrad है यहाँ पे ये वाला है. अब यहाँ से हम इसी tetrad के ऊपर वो हम यहाँ पे पूरी representation देंगे the development of the male gametophyte. Development of the male gametophyte. So the most common type of the tetrad which is being formed here is this that is tetrahedral tetrad. Tetrahedral. This is one, this is second, this is third, or fourth one jo hai in ke piche hai. This is tetrahedral tetrad. Tetrahedral tetrad. Ab ye tetrahedral tetrad. अब क्या होगा ऑल सेल्स आर है और जो भी सेल्स यहां पे बनते हैं दे आर दिन ग्रेन और माइक्रोस्पोर्ट अब ये आपस में जुड़े हुए ना दीज दिस टैपेटम एयर ऑफ दिस सेल्स दैट इज ए टैपेटम द टैपेटम वोड अब टैपेटम जो है ये सिक्रीट करेगा एंजाइम एट दिस पॉइंट With respect to once we discussed the TS of the enter the role of the tapetum also that this tapetum secretes an enzyme called as called as kinase enzyme kinase enzyme. So ये kinase enzyme जो है ये यहाँ पे जो है इनको अलग अलग करेगा. So role is that they gets the kinase of these. The kinase which is being sorry the kinase sorry the kinase which is being present in between these microspores that gets dissolved by the kinase enzyme or the kinase enzyme secrete होता है tapetum से. Now what happens after this secretion which is coming from the tapetum? What is going to happen? All four microspores that are haploid they would separate. That means role of the tapetum or role of this the kinase enzyme is to dissolve the kinase or kinase which is being present present between pollen grains or microspores. That means they gets the pollen grains gets separated. They gets separated. No. Pollen grains get separated. So we could have a combination like this. इसमें हम देख लेंगे कि what would happen. 
पहले सुपोरोजीनियस सेल्स थे अब यहां पे जो है इस वाले में चैम्बर में हम देखें इस वाले माइक्रोस्पोरेंजियन में देखिए यहां पे क्या होगा पोलम्स दीज दीज वायर थे माइक्रोस्पोर मदर सेल्स ये माइक्रोस्पोर मदर सेल्स थे लाइक दिस इनमें क्या होगा टेट्रेड्स वुड गेट फॉरवर्ड टेट्रेड्स वुड गेट फॉरवर्ड लाइक दिस टेट्रेड्स वुड गेट फॉरवर्ड This is not the thing. इसमें ये होगा दूसरे में ये होगा नो दिस है इस वाले माइक्रोस्कोर जेड में भी इसमें भी इसमें भी इसमें भी दैट्स वाई वी हैव यर बैक एंड स्पीड दैट्स वाई हम यहां पर ऐसे इनको ड्रा करते हैं वे आर हैविंग दिस टेट्रास्कोर जेड स्ट्रक्चर एंड दिस टेट्रेट फॉर्म होते हैं लेटर ऑन ये पोलन ग्रैन जो है पोलन ग्रैन ये सेपरेट होते हैं ऐसे लाइक दिस वट हैपन्स टू दि पोलन ग्रैन हम यहां पर एक ले लेंगे एक पोलन This is a bone. A haploid structure. A haploid structure. Now, यहाँ पे ड्रा कर लेंगे। हम पढ़ रहे हैं microsporogenesis, that is the development of the pollen grain. हम यहाँ पे pollen grain ले लेंगे। This is the pollen grain or microspore, that is haploid, that is Why it gets separated? Because it's a unique chola, female gametophyte. Se. That's why the doubling would not take place here. Reason being that this is the haploid, and the female is also haploid, and they would unite and result in the formation of the diploid structure. Now, हमने बोला था tapetum से अब क्या होगा? Tapetum से secretion आ जाएगी sporopollenin. अब ये sporopollenin की secretion आ जाएगी like this. The secretion would come. This secretion would come. This sporopollenin secretion would come. It's one of the most resistive substance, a tough substance. This makes it the outer layer of this sporangium. And this is called as the exile or outer layer of pollen grain. Outer layer of pollen grain. Outer layer. Exile. Now we have inside another layer of this pollen grain. This is called as enzyme. Enzyme. That means inner layer of pollen grain. Inner layer of pollen grain. So we are having two layers of the pollen grain, exine as well as enzyme. We are having this exine and end exine. Exine भी दो किस्म का बाहर से और जो बाहर से but inside है. That's the end exine. बाहर से जो है exine और अंदर से जो है end exine. So we are having two layers generally. Outer layer as well as inner layer. Outer layer is called as exine. Inner is called as the enzyme. Here we are having the cytoplasmic content. While we have the deposition of the starch and all these things that are necessary for the that this that is the nutrition of the pollen grain. अब यहाँ पे ऐसे. अब हमने यहाँ पे देखा जो बीच वाले जो sides हैं यहाँ पे. जब हमने बोला कि sporo pollen में इनकी deposition होती है. It's not the thing that it gets covered throughout all the pollen grain. बीच बीच में कुछ जगह आती है. और उस जगह को हम बोलते हैं germ pore. जर्म पोर नो कैरेक्टरिस्टिक फीचर पहले देखेंगे एक्साइन जो है इट्स वेरी टफ इट्स हार्ड लेयर इट्स वेरी हार्ड लेयर अबाउट दिस एंटाइल इट्स वेरी इलास्टिक इन नेचर इट्स इलास्टिक इन नेचर इट्स इलास्टिक इन नेचर देखो जब ये डिहाइस करेगा पोलर ग्रैन और ये रीच होगा टू दिस स्टिकमा जैसे मैंने एग्जांपल आपको दी थी कल कि जब भी हमारे घर पे मेहमान आ जाता है तो हम क्या करते हैं पहले उसका हम देखते हैं जब वो जो है दरवाजे पर आता है पहले उससे हम इंट्रैक्शन करते हैं कि आप कौन हो कहां से आए हो जब पता चलता है कि हमारा अपना ही है दिस इज अवर रिलेटिव तो क्या करते हैं हम उसको अंदर ले जाते हैं उसको जूस पिलाते हैं उसको चाय पिलाते हैं उसको खाना भी खिलाते हैं ठीक है उसकी वजह से क्या होता है थोड़ा उसका जो स्ट्रक्चर है थोड़ा 
बदल हो जाता है ठीक है तो यहां पे भी क्या होता है उसको हम इंट्रैक्शन बोलते हैं यहां पे भी क्या होता है जब पोलर में आ जाता है स्टिग्मा पे सबसे पहले उसको वो आइडेंटिफाई करते हैं कि आप कौन हो कहां से आए हो लाइक दैट आइडेंटिफाई करते हैं जब उनको पता चलता है कि अपनी स्पीशीज का है दिस स्पीशीज इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट रिप्रोडक्शन में ये मेथड है कि हमेशा इंडिविजुअल नए इंडिविजुअल प्रोड्यूस करता है ओनली ऑफ द सेम काइंड ऑफ द स्पीशीज अपने जैसे अपने स्पीशीज के प्रोड्यूस करता है यहां पे दूसरे प्लांट का भी पूर्ण गिरा सकता है ठीक है डिफरेंट प्लांट का भी पूर्ण गिरा सकता है इसको कैसे पता चले कि अपना प्लांट का पूर्ण गिरण है अपनी स्पीशीज का इसलिए यहां पे इंट्रैक्शन हो जाती है दैट्स कॉल्ड एज ए पोलन क्रिस्टल इंट्रैक्शन जब इंट्रैक्शन से पता चलता है कि ये अपनी स्पीशीज का है तो यहां से सिक्रीट होता है शुगर कॉम्प्लेक्स शुगर कॉम्प्लेक्स जिसकी वजह से शुगर कॉम्प्लेक्स अंदर चला जाता है जब इसमें शुगर कॉम्प्लेक्स अंदर चला जाए वट वुड है फ्रॉम दिस इट इज इट एंड दैट्स वाई पोलन ट्यूब एराइज फ्रॉम दीज जर्म ट्यूब और सिट्रक्चरम जो है ऐसे बनता है पोलन ग्रह का क्योंकि इसको रीच इट हैव टू रीच अप टू दे ओवेरी ऊपर स्टिग्मा पे ऐसे ही रहता है इसको नीचे यहां पे ओवेरी तक पहुंचना है ओवेरी तक बाहर गिरा के ओव्यूल्स इसीलिए पोलन ट्यूब की डेवलपमेंट होती है दैट्स वाई द जर्म पोर्स आर दिस स्ट्रक्चर फ्रॉम विच वट इज गोइंग टू एराइज देर वुड एराइज द पोलन ट्यूब यहां से पोलन ट्यूब एराइज होगा पोलन ट्यूब एराइज होगा Now we are having the we are having the we are having the condition like that the presence of the germ pores we are having the different conditions. Now first condition is if in a pollen grain there is presence of what there is presence of one germ pore. So we are having the different criteriums to this germ pore. We are having the different criteriums. If there is presence of one germ pore. The condition is called as monocolpate. Monocolpate. What does monocolpate mean? Presence of one germ pore. Dusri condition ye hai. If we are having the two germ pores, it's called as the bicolpate structure. Bicolpate. That means two germ pores. If we are having the three germ pores, that's called as a tri. हम बोल रहे थे कि अगर जर्मपुर इसमें एक हो सकता है मोनोकॉल्पेट अगर दो होंगे बाइकॉल्पेट अगर तीन होंगे ट्राइकॉल्पेट सो ट्राइकॉल्पेट मीन्स प्रेजेंस ऑफ थ्री जर्म पॉर्स द मोनोकॉल्पेट स्ट्रक्चर इज द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक फीचर ऑफ द मोनोकॉट इन द मोनोकॉट प्लांट वट वी फाउंड दैट देर इज ऑनली वन जर्म पूरी डिपॉजिशन होती है सुपोरोपोलिन से और एक जर्म को रहता है जिससे पोलन ट्यूबराइज होगा नाउ दिस ट्राइकॉल्पेट स्ट्रक्चर इज द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक फीचर ऑफ द डाइकॉट प्लांट्स दैट मींस डाइकॉट्स नाउ व्हाट वुड हैपन वी आर सेइंग दैट वी आर सेइंग दैट हियर कि पोलन ग्रेन जब यहां पे फॉर्मेशन होती है तो सुपोरोपोलिन डिपॉजिट हो जाता है बाहर से फॉर्म द एक्साइड एंड इनसाइड ऑफ दिस इज द एंड एक्साइड नो देर इज वन एंड न्यूक्लियस टू दिस पोल एंड ग्रेन वट वुड हैपन नेक्स्ट ड्यूरिंग द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ द माइक्रोस्कोरोजेस नाउ इस पोल एंड ग्रेन बाहर से मैं आई वुड आई वुड से लाइक दिस दिस दे पोल एंड ग्रेन बाहर से मैं एक्साइड ही बनाऊंगा अब समझ लेना कि वी आर हैविंग दिस एक्साइड ये Now this is the pollen grain. While we are having this, the, the nucleus here. Now, in this, what will happen? The division will take place. The mitotic, this mitotic division, not meiosis. Meiosis first happened. Now, what will happen? The mitotic, which will be the division, will be the mitotic division. What will happen with the mitotic division? Two cells will form. From this nucleus, there will be the nucleus. Now, what will happen? The karyokinesis, not this cytokinesis. This karyokinesis will happen. The cytokinesis will later on happen. तो क्या होगा माइटोटिक डिवीजन से एक यहां पे एक बड़ी सेल बनेगी और दूसरा द सुमालेस्ट सेल लाइक दिस द सुमालेस्ट सेल देयर वुड गेट द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ द टू सेल्स वन इज कॉल्ड एज द वेजिटेटिव सेल दिस इज द वन सेल हैविंग द डेन साइटोप्लाज्म एंड द वेरियस स्टार्च एंड लिपिड ग्रैन्यूल्स इन इट एंड वी आर हैविंग वन सुमालेस्ट सेल This cell is called as the vegetative cell. 
vegetative cell and this is called as the generative cell generative cell in the most of the angiospermic plants the pollen gram or microspore bahar se aise exile we are having the exile like this we are having the exile like this bahar se we are having the exiles here this is the pollen gram in most of the angiospermous in 60% of the angiosperm that means most of the angiospermous in most angiosperms the pollen gram is shed pollen gram is shed at this two celled stage two celled stage at this two celled stage ye shed hota hai dehyce hota hai dehyce yahan se ho jayega it would get liberated or chahe pollination self ho ya cross ho it would get dehyced at this stage no at this stage ultimately ye reach hoga to this stigmatic surface what about the this is about the 60% of the angiosperms what about the rest and the 40% of the plants unme kya hota hai unme kya hoga the generative cell it divides and this if this is the the pollen grain in this we are going to have this generative cell we are going to have this generative cell this generative cell would divide and it forms the two male gametes so what are these two these two are the two male gametes these are the two male gametes ya to ye do celled stage pe yahan pe do celled stage pe shed hoga ya kya hoga 40% mein this gets this generative cell it divides to form the two male gametes aur jo vegetative cell hai it provides the nutrition to this generative cell so that development of the two male gametes takes place ultimately kya hoga ultimately ye hoga to vegetative cell jo hai wo khatam ho jayegi it provides nutrition to this so we got the two male gametes bahar se iske enzyme enzyme there is the enzyme like this there is the enzyme That means we are having the spore pollen. अगर monocot होगा तो एक germ core होगा. अगर dicot होगा तो तीन germ core होंगे. We will have here that it is if the monocot we are going to have the one germ. Ultimately, what would happen from this the entire there would get the formation of the pollen tube like this. so this is what this is pollen tube pollen tube it arises from what arises from the germ pore reason being pollen kit jo hai it's the elastic ab kya hoga it gets shed so question aa jata hai this is about the complete development of the pollen this microspore or the pollen grain ab question kya aa jata hai examination question is a no the male gametophyte male gametophyte contains how many cells or male gametophyte is made up of is made up of number a 1 cell number b 2 cells number c 3 cells number 4 4 cells it is made up of three cells so male gametophyte is a three cell structure how two male gametes with two cell and one pollen tube 2 plus 1 is equal to 3 so male gametophyte so male gametophyte male gametophyte is a three cell structure that concludes our the process of microspore genesis thanks thank you